During this holiday season, give your loved ones a gift that keeps on giving for the rest of their life. Torpedo Pot is the only affordable self-growing flower pot that ensures your future food survival. All you do is add soil, seeds, and seedlings to the flower pot and watch your plants grow. Torpedo Pot can grow nutritious food in such abundance and variety that you can produce more food than your local farm. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungel Zalalem, bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Kenya. Two communities in the Great Rift Valley asked the United Nations to investigate a colonial era land grab. The Kipsikis and Talai communities of Kericho County say the British brutally evicted them from their ancestral land between 1895 and 1963 to make way for lucrative tea plantation owned by white settlers. Kenya's Great Rift Valley town of Kericho is now famous for tea farms, most of them owned by various British and multinational tea corporations, including Findlay's, Williamson Fine Tea, and Unilever. While Kericho boosts some of Kenya's most profitable agricultural land, the Kipsigis and Talai people say they are yet to benefit from it. They say their ancestors suffered serious human rights violation, including torture, unlawful killing, sexual violence, arbitrary detention, arbitrary displacement, and violations of their rights to privacy and property, adding that they are yet to receive any form of compensation. They deserve compensation. Actually, there are people that are still alive today that faced the brutal treatment of the British. The, this, uh, there is an old man, he's in his 90s now, uh, but back in the days when they were kicking out his family members, he was a kid and he remembers that day and he even talked about how they kicked them, they just came with guns. The British came with guns with other helpers and they started just uh, throwing people into jail, kicking them out, kicking them out of their houses because they wanted the land to produce tea. And uh, he said even the ones that um, were single mothers or the ones that they took their husbands away from them, they, they violated them as well. So it was really, really brutal. It was not, they did not trick them into selling their lands. They downright came with guns and kicked them out of their lands so like this is this didn't happen two three hundred years ago this happened a few decades ago so there are people right now that are alive that are witnesses that faced that cruel treatment from the british so it should be an easy lawsuit you might think right but un did not address them even though they wrote to you and they've hired lawyers but no one is even accepting to take responsibility or even acknowledging what they're saying so i really hope that they do take them to court and they win a lot of money and the thing about these people is they're not even saying give me back my land they're literally telling them you've already taken it you've already make made millions and millions of euros on it just give us what it would have cost like just compensate us what was rightfully ours so it should have been an easy okay let's settle this but they literally are acting like they don't hear them and these companies make millions it's just they don't care but i hope these people make enough noise to be heard so that they get compensated because it is they have receipt they have evidence it's not as i said it didn't happen two three hundred years ago so they deserve to get compensated anyways guys let us know down below what your thoughts are i am I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. 
how you handle it, how you deal with it. It can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.